Good evening, planner humans of the YouTube who like to watch planner videos of other planner humans. It's Fox. It's time to plan with Fox. I'm trying. I promise you I'm trying. Listen, I'm stressed beyond belief right now, so even though I'm trying, it's a struggle. Here was this week. It is Sunday night that I'm actually filming this because I said last week I'm going to get on track with my filming and my posting and all that shit. So here I am. This is, I did fill out some of the things that I did this week. I had a lot of to-do stuff. I was working on like cleaning. Again, it's cleaning the office. It's always the office. It's like never ending. So I finally sorted all of my Go Wild stuff except for my Michaels box. It's the last thing I have to do. And then I can mail, tailor her stuff. And then tomorrow I'll be going over to my parents' house so I can bring my mom the stuff that I got for her. And that's that. So this was the week. We are now on to the week of Monday, August 19th through Sunday, August 25th. How is August almost over? How, how indeed. So I know I've already used sunflowers, but sunflowers are so perfect for August and I just, it just makes me happy. And this one has a hedgehog. Mm. So this is a kit from Planello. I've used kits from them before. I will link to the shop in the comments, obviously. And I just love it. It's cute as hell. So I'm gonna use this this week. As I said, I'm having a lot of stress. It's a very, it's gonna be a very, very rough week. You'll see part of it is because it's just fucking packed full of stuff. And part of it is because I think it's gonna be a rough work week. I don't know for sure. I will know probably by Wednesday if my Thursday through Saturday will be okay or if it will be crazy. <laughs> so you never know really until you get there sometimes, until you walk in and see. This is my first time actually having like a weekend off with my new position, so I tried really hard to spend the weekend doing things that I wanted to do and see what it was like. And I'm a little bit, I know this sounds backwards, but having the four days off, I mean, I'm off tomorrow and I go back Tuesday, but it's a little bit stressful because it's like, I was there for all those days in a row and I felt like I knew everything that was going on and I had control over the situation. And as everybody knows, control over a situation is a big difference maker for anxiety levels. That's why some of us are afraid of being on planes because even though the pilot is certainly better trained to fly the fucking plane than I ever would be. Because the lack of control that I am not in the cockpit checking things out makes me a little bit nutty whenever I go on a plane. So I think that's what it is. It's like going from being there every day. Fuck this up. Oh, yeah, that's really fucked up. Going from being there every day to having four full days off is a little bit like shocking to the system and it's different because now it's supposedly my store also I had to finish an exam an online exam before they can send me my official offer letter we kept wondering like why is my offer letter not coming through so that I can officially sign with the store and get my promotion in the books that's why I had to do this online test that we my boss and I did not know about. so I did that on Friday now I have to find out if I passed it or not which is like super stressful like this is not the last time that I took a manager position same company it was literally like, they knew I was getting licensed. They're like, do you want this store? And I was like, sure. So like, I got my license at 8 a.m. that day. And then at 1 p.m. they were like, okay, you're the manager. Good luck, bye. So it's a very different situation. And the same thing when we moved back to Pittsburgh, it was just like, oh, this store's open. Do you want it? And I was like, okay, fine. There was not a test and there was not all this like extra weird stress and things like that. So. I don't know, I have reports due this week. It'll be my first time doing those since the new system. When I, the last time I was manager was 2013, so it's been a minute. I know like the day-to-day -day workings of the store, that kind of stuff, you know, you stay on top of, but in terms of like the paperwork that you have to do as a manager, that's all gonna be, this is the first time doing it because it's all new since I was manager last time. So there are a number of things stressing me. I'll get through it, but I'm having one of those things where like I really want to, this is an anxious person problem. Let me know in the comments if you also do this thing where you go like, I have to do really well this week. I have to be prepared. I have to be on top of things. I have to be like really focused and getting everything done and really plan out well a schedule for everything. But then you worry that if you do those things and you actually stick to the plan that you wanted to have and you really like focus on things, that somehow it's gonna fuck things up. I know that doesn't make any sense when you say that. Like I've had these weeks where like, as an example, 
I would say like, oh, I'm gonna really focus this week. I have all these great plans. I'm gonna get up every day and do this. And I'm gonna, you know, plan my meals out really well, plan my outfits for work, plan everything really well. And then like two days in, like something bad happens or like I get hurt running or husband and I have a fight or something like that, you know? And it's like, those things are not related to each other. They just happened to happen at the same time. But your brain tells you like, oh, see what happened last time? Like as an example, in 2016, I was like kind of slacking off on eating healthy and taking care of stuff. So I was traveling for work and I was up in Titusville, which was like two hours away. And I was like, at that night, I got a bottle of wine at my hotel, had a nice dinner, got a bottle of wine, sat down with my planner, really planned everything out, had all these great ideas, got up the next morning, went for a run, feeling great, like, yes, this is gonna be a turning over a new leaf, it's gonna be fantastic. And then that day, that afternoon, husband called me and told me that our dog was sick and she was gone within a month. So like, that kind of stuff has happened and I know it's just coincidence and it's not correlation, but it, it gives me this anxiety. So I'm already like, anxious because I'm waiting on the results of that test. I have a work meeting. I have a whole bunch going on this week at work. And then I'm like, well, I have to really be on top of things. Otherwise this week's going to be chaos. And then I'm like, well, if you're on top of things, then something bad is going to happen and it's going to be too stressful. And it's just not how things work, Fox. It's just not how things work. Your brain is fucking with you. That's what's happening. I just love that hedgehog. Oh my God, it looks like Layla Gray. So cute. So anyway. That's my life. That's the life of an anxious brain. I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. But you feel like things are going too well and something bad has got to happen because there's no way that things go this well in my life. You know, you get that feeling. That's the kind of feelings that I get. And I feel like I've been balancing things pretty well and surely something has to come in and destroy all of that. You know, it's like the way the brains work. And I work on that in therapy, like not feeling that way because it's not not real it's it's brain lies so all right we got everything down let's dig into what the week is going to be like this will not be as long of a video as last week I think I hope in part because I feel like it would be absolutely impossible for any video to be as long as last week's video was because I feel like last week's video was only slightly shorter than the movie the Ten Commandments side note does anybody have this memory from your youth when you were a kid, not giving a shit about the movie The Ten Commandments, but you had a grandma who was like always watching The Ten Commandments, and so you'd end up watching it over and over. I know I'm not the only one who had this situation. My grandma loved The Ten Commandments. And, and my little self saw it a number of times because. All right, so tomorrow I walk dogs, seven and nine. I wanted to update you, Miss Espresso, that I posted and shared last week, our little senior toothless, cross-eyed, adorable pit bull. She got adopted yesterday and we're all so freaking excited. So that was a big adoption. And we have a baby named Chili. I'm going to share a photo of him because I'll be spending some time with him tomorrow. And I am in love with him. He is a big, doofy, wonderful little thing. There's his picture. Oh, he's so cute. So I will be spending some time with him tomorrow. I spent some time with him on Friday. So I'm walking the dogs. When I come home, I have to meal plan. I just tried to work on it today and my anxiety has just been like, I went for a six mile run this morning and normally that like grounds me and settles me for the day and for some reason didn't do shit in terms of that. So I've just been like tightly wound all fucking day. So I have to meal plan and then I'm going to edit my plan with me before I do anything else with my day. And I have these little stickers from Fat Cat Designs. I will need to go to the grocery store. I don't have my grocery sticker though. I don't know why I didn't take them out. I love those things. Anyway, I'll just write that in there. There's so many cute things in this kit. I love it. So groceries will go in here. And I will put my little dude on there later. I'll go find him. Husband made pulled chicken tonight. So we have that ready to go to put on shit. So I can like have it as a chicken salad or something like that. So. I'm gonna just get some other things for the rest of the week because I will need meals for Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at work. Wednesday will be the meeting and they're giving us lunch there so I won't need to worry about a meal there. So groceries, and then Layla has a vet appointment. It's her annual appointment tomorrow. She has to get her meds and normally I would have given them yesterday or today, but I wanted to check with the vet tomorrow and make sure she's okay to have her flea and tick meds 
around the same time that she gets her rabies and portatella vaccine. So I'm gonna check with her before I give her her dose. She can wait a day or two, it'll be okay. I actually probably, we're gonna go to my parents' house tomorrow. I'll probably bring them with me. If they say it's okay to give it, then I'll give them on our way over there. So her vet appointment is at 2 p.m. And then since it's at 2 p.m. and the vet is out by my parents' house, rather than try to drive back at like three o'clock or whatever and sit in rush hour traffic, we're just gonna go to my parents' house and hang out there until rush hour ends and then come back home. So I'm gonna bring my laptop and work on some photos and stuff when I'm over there. And I should have my meal planning and everything. And my mom will help me with my meal prepping so I can do that as well. And then when we come home, we are going to dinner at the cage, which is actually where we're going to dinner tonight. I mean, we're gonna cook and then I just, I, like I said, I've just been an anxious mess all day today and I don't know. So my husband was like, why don't we just go there, relax, bring your notebook, write for a little bit. And I'm like, oh, okay, I can't really write like that. Tuesday, I've been loving, if you didn't catch last week's video, I have been doing in the morning, trying to do 30 minutes of creative time. It can be anything creative, writing, reading, working on photos, whatever. So I've been trying to do that in the morning before work. I've been loving doing that. I've been getting up a little bit earlier so I have time to do it before my shift and that's really been helping to ground me. So I'm gonna keep up with that this week. So I'm gonna use these little dudes here. The slightly thicker ones than the one I used there for groceries. So that'll be whatever my 30 minute creative time is. And then I will use the little dude here for work. So I work regular shift and this is gonna be, the, Tuesday's gonna be rough because I've been off for four days and I'll be getting back into it and flu season has started and all that. So work, 9 a.m., 6 p.m. And I will hopefully hear about the test that I had to do online. I don't know, I just, these kinds of things up in the air, they stress me out a lot. I like to know things. Planner girl's got a plan, you know? So I think that's, my morning there is everything. I'm gonna try to go to, the track with my friends. They do a track workout on Tuesday nights, and I think I can get there. They start around 6.30, but it's not like an official track workout. It's just like friends getting together to do it. So I think if I'm there between 6.30 and 6.45, it'll be okay. So I think I'm, that's what I'm gonna try for and do my speed work. I did my first little mini speed work last night with my run group, and then this I should be able to get back into the full stuff this week. So that's my plan. If not, I'll just do a regular run. And, I'm leaving the dinner situation open because like I said, I feel like I'm gonna be stressed. That's why I'm saving my run for after work. And then if we wanna to go to the cage again and to relax and just unwind, then I have that option. So Wednesday, I have to run again. I Wednesday's a little bit up in the air for a few reasons. I'll put my run sticker in here. I don't know if I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna probably run after the meeting. The meeting is 10 to three. It's in Somerset, which is a little over an hour away. So I'm gonna put run in here. I'm not gonna put anything else because I don't know my mileage yet and haven't talked to coach. And then I will put my little, I'll leave a space to write my mileage in. And then I will put my pre-work thing. What I'm thinking about doing is since it is an hour, or I think it's like an hour and 15 minutes away, there is an Eden Park there, so I might go early and have breakfast and read there or bring my notebook or whatever and then do that so that way I'm there and I'm not stressed about traffic and the drive and everything, but I haven't fully decided. So that's that and then I have the work meeting, so I'll use. When I like agreed to take this manager position, they said, oh, we really don't do as many meetings as we used to. And now I already have one and I'm like, oh, heck. And I have another one scheduled at the end of September, beginning of October so I'm like what when I signed up for this so I do I have these moon envoy designs this is a person that I met at go wild and her name's Kate she's awesome and I uh, she gave me a little starter kit of freebies and these are like remind me of the blobbies but it's the moon cherub and so I'm gonna use this little dude it's got a like he's a little chemist but since I'm a pharmacist close enough I'm gonna use him for my little work meeting because that will make me smile I will link to her shop below if you want to check these out. They're really cute. I have another page of these too with other things that he's doing. And a little fitness. You can use that for lifting weights someday. Read a book. But anyway, these are super cute. And taking a nap. So I will karaoke. I can definitely use more of these, but they're super cute. And I will link to her shop if you want to check anything else out. So Wednesday, I don't know what we're going to do about dinner or anything. 
my friend lost her cat about a month ago and there's a grief counseling group that's held for animal grief on certain Wednesday nights and so we're thinking she might want to go to it I told her I would go with her if she wanted to be there with her but she's not sure if she's ready yet so I'm not gonna write anything in there I might go to that with her we'll see Thursday my work again this is when I, this is my long when I work the weekend this will be my longer work stretch so here's my morning stuff and then here's put on. okay I'm just trying to make sure I'm consistent and the little bar goes to the left here so I work nine to six it'll always be nine to six except for Saturdays it's ten to five and then after work, I am getting my hair done. Oh, I think I mentioned this, but I never wear my hair down in the summer. Well, not never, but rarely wear my hair down in the summer. Especially, I never wear my hair down to work because I can't be on the phone all day with my hair down. So I straightened my hair because we went out to dinner or something, and I was like, holy fuck, it's long, and also lots of gray. <laughs> so I finally got a hair appointment, so yay. She was able to fit me in at 6.30. So I'll just go straight from work over there. I don't know, my hair usually takes like two hours to dye it and cut it, so I'm not gonna put anything in for the evening. Who knows what we're gonna do about food? I certainly don't know. Friday, I work again. You see the theme that I'm just working every day? It'll be less bad. Like normally, when my partner's back from maternity leave, I'll have Tuesday off as well, and then I'll work Wednesday through Saturday, but until she comes back in October, I'll be working her Tuesdays, most of her Tuesdays and her Thursdays, so that's why it seems like a lot of days in a row. It is a lot of days in a row, but it'll be Fridays are not that bad, honestly. So I will work nine to six. Okay, so then right after work, this is another day that's going to be batshit crazy. We are going to an event Friday night. I'm trying to find a good, so I will put this here. I don't know what to do about eh, fitness will probably come in the evening. So we are going to this thing called the Steel Town Tiki Cruise. We went to it last year. It's a fundraiser. It's on a boat, obviously, and it is a fundraiser for Rivers of Steel, which does STEM programming for kids. It's a charity event, but you go and they have all these different bartenders doing tiki drinks. They have tropical cuisine. Everybody dresses up, and it's fun. And then you go and they have they coordinate it with pirates. Um, our baseball team does fireworks nights, and so they coordinate it with that, so you get to see the fireworks at the end of the night. So it's a lot of fun, but we went to it last year, and our friend Linda, from the Seven Hour Brunch, you saw her there, uh, she is one of the main organizers. So we did it last year, we'll do it again this year. It was fun. We just have to keep an eye out, because if you're not familiar with tiki drinks, tiki drinks can get dangerous quickly like you can have one drink and you're like there's no booze in that and then you're like no there were four shots of rum in that I just couldn't taste it so we just have to be <laughs> cognizant of that because we're gonna go dancing afterwards so it's fun but like last year there were a handful of people who went a little overboard and you're on a boat so you have to be like cognizant of that too like can I hold as much liquor on a boat as I do in reality because then that can lead to barfing and nobody wants to be the barking person I certainly don't because I'm an anxious person to begin with. So that's at seven. I'm going straight from work to there, so I'll just get dressed. I'm not gonna put on makeup or anything because I'm not gonna have time. And I'll just get dressed at work and my I have a flamingo dress to wear to that, and then I'll just go straight over there. So afterwards it's Diamond Life, my favorite dance night of the night. So this cruise goes from seven until eleven, and then we'll just go straight over. So my parents are watching Layla Grace, they're gonna pick her up during the day. They will watch her, and that way we don't have to worry about coming home to feed her. I don't want to miss, especially in a stressful week like this, I don't want to miss my like favorite dance night. I want to make sure I have that for myself to get happy about. Saturday, I work. <laughs> I work. So I will put on my 30 minutes creative. That might be my run. It depends on hmm, how late this goes, if I run or not. Um, I'd probably run after work if I had to guess. I think it probably will fit better. But I work 10 to 5, so I'll have time to get up in the morning and just kind of do my thing before I go to work. And then I do have to run, so that will not be a long run. That will be however many miles. And then I'm going to do my long run. A Sunday I'm off. It's It might be a solo 
very long solo run. I have to check in with Coach. I think I've got 14 miles this week. And then next week will be my, when we're in, we're going to Kentucky for Labor Day weekend, if I didn't mention that. That will be my cutback week, so that way I don't have to worry about running 14 miles around an area that I don't know. So, that is all of that. Uh, the rest of Sunday, I don't really know what else is going on, because I'm off every Sunday now, which is nice. I'll probably do my planner stuff, obviously, because I'm going to be planning every Sunday now. So lots of stuff to be filled in. It's going to be a hectic week, but it's going to be okay. I'm going to get through it. I'm not filling anything out over here right now. I do have my habit trackers, which I'm meant to put in here. I need to get back to doing my physical therapy exercises every day, and I actually think I'm going to I'm going to do that. I am going to add that in because I need to make that a priority. I now that my mileage is going up, I don't want to get hurt again. Listen, getting hurt as a runner is no fun because you know what you have to take time off of if you're hurt running and you know what's the best thing for your brain running <laughs> so I'm gonna put this habit tracker in here. I gotta find I didn't pull out normally I pull everything out ahead of time and I didn't pull out my other habit tracker so I'll have those in too for no dishes in the sink and my 30 minutes creative time so things to fill in we'll see how the week goes I will definitely fill the rest of this in as the uh, should I use uh, I'm not gonna use it it's not actually shift I try to when we have these meetings for work like sometimes be like well, where is it is there anything like we used to have our meetings in, up in Clarion and it was an hour and a half drive but there's the outlet mall up there so I'd be like okay maybe I'll just stop at the outlets you know but there's like really nothing besides like a bike trail in Somerset where this meeting is so it's not like there's anything that I would want to do that would make it worth the trip out there it's just like I'm only going out there for the meeting and there's really nothing else so we'll see I might do like I said in the morning go out early and then that way I'll be there it's better for me to, if I have to do something like that, go to that area and get coffee or breakfast or whatever, rather than leave later here because then I'm worrying about the time and what if there's traffic and what if there's an accident or whatever. So, so that's my week. I hope everybody has a good one and leave any comments below if you have questions and please subscribe if you have not. And I will check in with you next week and you will see this planner video sooner than you saw last week's planner video. I promise.